Uh, Dark Elves versus Orcs. Match day two for the five game Andy Devo Dark Elf run is Orcs. <clears throat> and we're playing against some exasperation. New Orc clean stains. We've got four fan factors and a genuine, sadly. And then they've got something. Let's have a look and see if they're fresh. Uh, they are indeed a fresh Orc team, so it's four biggins, four blitzers, a goblin, and two linemen. Okay, three rerolls. Pretty, pretty decent setup. Uh, we don't want to spend any of our 25k on stuff. So, for our team, just to refresh everyone, we've got a block dodge blitzer, two normal block blitzers, a dodge witch elf, and then we've got uh, um, a spare player that will be going on the line of scrimmage. And the... 2 plus 1... So 7,000 fans in the in the, uh, in the the stadium. So we're both picking up 35k of money at the end of the game, plus any any 10k for every touchdown I score. So I already know I've got 35k coming into me. I've got 25k in the bank, so I now know I've got 50k, and if I could score five touchdowns, I can afford my reroll. If I don't uh, score five touchdowns, we know we're not picking the reroll up. I think, I think we're probably not picking the reroll up, right? Uh, who are we trying to get star player points on? Uh, so either of the two remaining blitzers and the witch elf, but preferably these two, because they are on three points. So a touchdown on either of them would level them. <coughs> they will always be black orcs to me, says uh, Diaclone. Oh, four touchdowns. Thank you, Captain. I can't add up. Yes, I need to score four to get my reroll. Uh, it's going very well, thank you, Anarchy. So, let's see how our opponent plays this out. We're going to kick in the centre. Interesting that they're choosing to carry on a blitzer, so they've only got three players with block like we have. Um, what they've got, though, is four players with strength four. And it looks very much like, as they've loaded this side up... Um, Oh, that's a terrible kick. Always, we want you always want the ball to go deep against orcs. Yeah, I've got to call them biggins because there's a lot of people in the channel who are new, and to them, they are biggins. So just because cauliflower, for example, knows that they're actually black orcs, or BB Nut, or Shatterblade, um. Captain Daffwagger probably calls them biggins. <laughs> Shamber, have you got any Blood Bowl songs that you want to share with everyone? They're not Black Orcs, they're Green Orcs. Yeah, why are they called Black Orcs? The skin's darker. Oh. So he's picked it up. I think we're going to see a foul from the Goblin. Little dirty scumbag. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna use the apothecary here. I don't want to I don't want to keep going players down. Why is this a change? Remember how I used to hate Skaven. I never hated Skaven. That's an unfair. I never hated them.
Booyah! In the face. Right. Well, we're not going to spend a reroll on this anyway, but let's try and dodge you away. Cool. And we can step you forward. And I think we're done at that. Yeah, I think we're done at that. That'll do. Ah, oh, Zell, thank you very much for the raid. How are you? I didn't realise you were streaming. If you haven't checked out Zell's channel, do so. It's awesome. Man, I'm going backwards in star player points because I'm staying in games and losing people uh, and people concede when I'm winning. Severin, it does happen. You just have to ride it out. It never means sense to call them pro elves when they didn't have pro. Um, I think they're called professional elves. I beat yeah. you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor? Pie, pie flavor. flavor. No, not Prosser Elves. They work Reform Elves now. Never. So our opponent looks like they know what they're doing, although they are going quite narrow, which is an interesting uh, tactical change. I, like, I prefer going a bit wider with Orcs, because otherwise we're going to start comp trash compacting them. Okay. Better. A bit of width here. Oh dear. Well, I'm glad I spent the apothecary on that player. Taking the two dice there. I'm going to take the two dice blitz here. Damn it. So not rolling the pow means I'm going to have to dodge away here, which is a shame. Back you away. How could you break the sound effect? I haven't formatted the PC yet, so it's on the other computer. <laughs> I I never remember. When I'm not streaming, I don't remember to switch them on. Um, it's my own fault. I just forget. One time, I think, Cheeky Jimmy, to be fair. Of course it's your own fault. Whose fault would it be? I don't I don't want to blame you, Shamba, but... <clears throat> I, don't, I think I refunded you in the end, Dark Walker. No, I, I did. Ref I've refunded everyone who's not had it. I don't have the tool to do it, so. I decided to refund. <sighs> hmm. Uh, 
Well, if we could get... I feel like there should be two dice on the ball here. With this level of push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we blitz here... I don't really want to send the witch off around the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Throw that block, throw that block. Follow of the second block. Throw two dice there. This might just do something. Okay. Literally need to throw this next. Two dice there, excellent. Then you got two dice here. Wonderful. So now we've got an assist already on the Black Orc. Punch this Black Orc in the face. Wonderful. Alright, so we've knocked over a bunch of stuff. That's good. Oh. Don't! Uh, Heronius Tosh, yes, um... Trigger, are you still in the channel? Do you want to link your um, Boards and Swords event again? Oh, no, I can't see the questions in chat. Oh, there we go. There we go. So this, this game's getting a lot... It's been a lot trickier because um, he's managing to stay in the centre. However, I hope what I'm going to see next is a split. We'll see if exasperation plays sensibly and stays, or panics and splits. Let's see. He has to choose to protect the ball or the gobo. Yeah. I was never able to. It's Lepako, it's really difficult with the team I've got. Really difficult. Oops. Uh, once you get a few players with block and dodge, fine. But he's, I've got to get to that point first. Right, he's already. He's, that move tells me what he's doing. We know he's going to split. We need some go for it to cover it, but he is splitting. Okay. He doesn't need to go for it. the blitz. I'm not, hitting this. I'm not hitting this with block. I wish I was, but I'm not. I want to hit that. And then I can hit. Um, so, let's punch here. Rubbish. Oh, for 
fuck's sake. Seriously. Snakes into dead on the best player. That's seriously shit. Uh, no, Tom. It's the 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 the, the restarting. I'm not trying to demonstrate how you go five and zero with uh, with with Dark Elves. Um, I'm I I'm actually saying that in my tier list, Dark Elves are a was it a B tier? I think at the start, and this just demonstrates it. They are inherently unstable um, in the first two or three games. So to then go, oh look, I won five games with them. That would be inaccurate and disingenuous. They are in unstable. They are. <laughs> uh, I mean, this game's probably, probably torched now. Probably. Um, like, we're not winning this game. But for that player to get injured was a 2% to fall over. 25% of 2%, you break armor. And one sixth of 25 of two, you get injured. So I don't know what that is, like one in 500 or something? It, whatever it is, is incredibly unlikely as the, as the output. Uh, yeah, and the Apo I spent on the KO to keep me on 11 players because this matchup's quite hard. And the game went, nope. He's fouled twice with a go I didn't get sent off. Yeah, never mind. And if I still got the Apo, I instantly Apo the, uh, the the badly hurt there. Right. Well, we have to go and attack. We have to attack the ball. We don't get to do any more hitting. We just have to attack the ball. That's the square I want to stand in. Oops. So we're going to throw that as the blitz. So that is the blitz. I'm going to step you there, but I can't do that yet. So what's better? Having you there and in the way. Because you're in the way. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. Let's get you in the way. And then we use the Witch Elf. To Blitz here. You don't want to take any damage, so dodge. And that's nice to take that if you make all this. We do not. Never mind. Uh, the, uh, uh, Harvey, the, the reason for Apo in the KO is because it's about 11 versus 11 is is fine for the Dark Elves. The um, dropping to like 9 makes this really difficult. So I don't want to drop to 9. Well, the best way you don't um, drop to 9 is you don't drop to 10, right? So I, it's, I, I don't hate I don't hate the move. I really don't hate the move. Um in with hindsight I hate the move with um with where we're at no it's fine uh Kerry possibly hello hyper rain
I, I'm certainly disappointed that he managed to just w walk through my defense. Then we got four weeks. You got power and sentence. No, I failed. Um, I snaked. Uh, I snaked into into death. If you remember. Surf that? Maybe. Maybe. Blitz here, pushing it there. Need a boatload of free players though. Dark Elves are inherently unstable because they only have two re-rolls and they have nobody with dodge or one player with dodge. Well, they get real quick, real fast, because then the blitz blitzes all pick up dodge and they hopefully go to three re-rolls. Once you're at that point, they do stuff. They behave themselves and they don't turn over consistently. Until you're at that point, they're a pain in the arse. Um, if you don't hit the ones, they're fine. When you hit the ones, they're a pain in the arse. I think this, this drive is just d demonstrating why they're a pain in the arse. Push. Interesting to see how he plays this last little bit of the turn out. Is he going to go and score or not? No, he takes the score. Okay. Does, no, okay, it doesn't wake up. That's a problem. like our opponent has seen my guide video. Because that is exactly where I don't want him to stand. We're also quite short on players, so I can only spare one person to go back to fetch the ball. And everyone else is going to have to go forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
I really want to be stood here somewhere. Just I looking around for my other blitz. Um, hey Tesco, how you doing? Welcome back. Um, we're gonna have to blitz one of these black orcs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jesus, this is going to be really hard. Two players down with, with only one re-roll. Oh, no. Why didn't you stand some... Mm. Thank you, game. I'll just... Actually, we need to go, we need to block that way, don't we? Well, in fact, you've got block, but yes. Okay, ball is picked up. If we block this way, I can then blitz that black orc. Oh, you massive dickhead. I can't spend the reroll. I can't. I, I literally just can't. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Yep. So you have to hold the reroll there because you have to be able to have the reroll for turn eight. Uh, despite what you wanted to do there was block and then blitz the Black Orc so that the Black Orc doesn't block the lineman out of scoring range and then he blitz the, blitz, uh, the Witch Elf out of scoring range. So he's managed to do the Witch Elf. Um, doesn't really matter that she's had not had her armor broken really because Dark Elves are not a throwing team so I just have to do a handoff really. Um... So it was super important that that didn't go wrong. <sighs> Dice by your own guides, yeah. No mind. Okay, well, I think we can get ourselves out of this. I think. I think I can get myself out of this. I think we can score on you. That's okay. Right. 
Go there. Blitz here, pushing it to there. One, two, three, four, five. Go to there for six. Go and stand you there. She jumps up and pushes the Black Orc out of the way. I run up and I hand the ball and I score on a two plus two plus. That's what I think we can do. Um, this gets super exciting, of course, if this isn't a pow. Let's see if it's a pal. It's not a fucking pal. Day um. foot. Go for it. Jump up. Now it's a pal. So now we're at three plus three plus. Jump over the player. Go and score. Ha ha! Touchdown! There we go. A little bit of elf magic. Why not? <laughs> yeah, the jump over was important there. Did we get our KO back? We did. We did get our KO back. So, good mooning. Let's see if we can get something fun out of this. Um, I don't need you either. Let's put those there. Right, I'm going to throw a 1D into the Black Orc for 2D here. I might actually throw 1D into the Line Orc for 2D on the Black Orc, because I think I'd rather hit the, D the Black Orc on 2D. And then we get two dice on that Black Orc. Um, I think that's the play here. Yeah. <sighs> Ratchet says, I'm the main reason you keep returning to Blood Bowl. Well, that's very kind of you, Ratchet. But she has the Witch Elf ball bounce off Witch Elf. We've got blocks, so you can <clears throat> fuck off. That is actually really cool. That is really cool. Thank you. I'll keep these here. I think we want to we want to stop him attacking into us. Yeah, I don't want him to attack into us, and then we'll pick the ball up. There we go. Now, how would you attack into me if you were uh, you? Let's go down there. Here we go. Uh, were there any old World Alliance games? Maybe. One. Maybe. Hello, Edict. Haha. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't really like Old World Alliance very much. I think, I think I prefer the, the Ogre start of Old World Alliance than the Tree start. Having played one game and seeing both in action, I think I very much prefer the um, 
Uh, Hardcore Stig played a game versus me. Um, and he did a very good job of it with the ogre. Snotlings. Snotlings are very strong. Like, people under underestimate how, how effective snots are. Hey Andy, do a vinity with that witch. What, on a 5 plus? No. Uh, guys, can you play, explain how uphill rolls work, please? Yeah, sure. So, chained block dice, or as you typically refer to them in actual Blood Bowl, as two dice uphill, are when your strength is lower than the strength of your opponent. So, for example, if I throw a two dice a block here, you'll see that it's two dice my choose his choose because my player card is strength three. Whoops. His player card is strength three, but he's got an assist here. So if I put that player in there and then through the block, oh, I can't do both. Uh, we'd be cancelling his assist out. It would be strength three versus strength three, and therefore it'd be one dice. I don't want to do that because that would be bad. I could also go the other way. I could put a player here, right? So now he gets an assist, I get an assist. We're both strength three, it's the same. So when you're thinking about assists, you've got two thing, two ways you can measure your balance your scales. You can either cancel theirs or give yourself your more for you. Either work and you need to think about the positioning, which is better for you. Canceling theirs or more for you. Dig the blitzers out. There we go. And turn. Your move. Cancelling matters more than assists for three dice. Yes, it does, yeah. What Andy didn't mention. Oh yeah, what I didn't mention was once you don't once you throw two dice uphill or two chain dice, your opponent is choosing, not you. That makes sense. Thanks for the info. Maybe I'll outsource the painting with my artistic client friends in exchange for some beers. That's a good idea. I, I would outsource the painting for beer. Oh, bless you. Have you got pants on? Have you got pants on? being loud I think I think my daughter and um, uh, her mother are playing hide and seek and he would outsource for beer I do actually um, I do yeah right so what am I doing here from a strategy point of view is we're trying to play an eight turn drive on offense I'm not trying to score quickly so I'm just basically wasting time there's no there is no the strategy is to waste time rather than the strategy being oh I'm going to put a player here and I'm going to do a thing over there no no I'm literally wasting time um think of me as a dirty football team just wasting time This will be the last turn of wasting time, probably. Nice if this was a pal. Nice. 
the reason this is nice if it's POW is because we can stand you in there, we can stand you in there, and we get a free Black Orc uh, hit. Sorry, big and hit. Um, we might have to get another free big and hit in here, actually. Ball is currently not safe, so we can't carry on doing swinging things. Let's just back off a little bit. Ugh. So there was, a, there was another free big and hit on the table there. We just need to dodge one, dodge two, throw the hit. Um, but we missed. Never mind. If anyone would like to help me get to 9,700 followers, if you want following, please do, because I'm only 13 away from hitting 9.7k. Andy drinks American... What? I don't understand that one. I guess everyone's already following, damn it. Weren't you just at 9.6? I, I was at, so when Blood Bowl 3 dropped, um, I was at about 8.5. So it's gone up by 1,000 followers. Which is really nice. <clears throat> yeah, it's really, 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 really good. YouTube, YouTube's done about 1.5k as well. Which is super amazing. So we're both on two rerolls. Six points deep. That makes it sense with your your thing. No one has watched DBZ. I don't know what a DBZ is, let alone watched it. Oh, Dragon Ball Z. Right, okay. I'm surprised nobody's seen DB Dragon Ball Z. I've heard of it. Quite a, quite a good video game, wasn't it? Dragon Ball abridged. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is a trickier turn, this. Really, you want to blitz this. That's what I want to do. I want to blitz this, but I don't think I can. I think I've got to run. But if I go and stand over here, which is my first gut reaction, what happens is you get crushed. I don't want to get crushed, so I want to do something fun. Now, the other option, of course, is to do this, dodge here, and blitz my way out of trouble. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Probably. you to there, dodge you to there, throw that two dice. That gives me a nice line. Dodge you to there, that's there. Yeah, that's the play, isn't it? Okay, so the play here is this. Oops, is this. No, is this. Go stand there. That gives that. Blitz with the ball carrier. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop it. Right, blitz with the ball carrier on the player in front of him. Front of us, sorry. Roll a pal. And then because of that, we can now run over to over here. Count some squares, we're fine. shame because we could have dug that out if we'd have got if we'd have got the power there we could have dug that out as well we didn't so we'll have to leave you on the floor and turn
And he's had a first gut reaction. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, have you done a vid on the various star players? So every single one of the guide videos at the end of the guide video talks about what star players are a good idea for that team. So the answer to your question is yes. Um, and probably more specifically referencing what team you would play them with. Um, there are a couple of star players that I talk about in every single video, like Morg, and uh, Morg is just very strong. Yeah, Griff also very strong. So yeah. If anyone wants me to do some guide videos on a specific topic, I am still receiving DMs and I will happily uh, do a do a, a guide video on a specific topic if someone has a topic that they want me to do as a topic. I feel as though I maybe have added the word topic in one too many times. Yeah, the bomber's not here yet. You, you want me to do a guide video on Chaos Trig? Today's topic is topics. Yes, today's topic is indeed topics. Step. What? You want us to slide into your DMs? Not especially. Oh, I think our opponent is done the uh, Admiral Akbar maneuver, and we might be okay here. So we're not blitzing with one of these, so I can get maximum range out of these two. Oh, there we go! Wonderful. Oh, well done. Yes, Andy has called me a tick for the 1016 file. I need clarification on the issue. Um, I don't like them, Halloween's. <laughs> hmm. We've only got one reroll. This is going to be a bit tricky. One, two, three, five, six. Yeah, we're going to put you there. I'm going to put you there. Right, that's no dice rolls to do both of those things. Wonderful, right? Wonderful. sorts it, you know. You re-roll that, because I think it sorts it. It's that good, it sorts it. Yeah, that would have just been an icing on top of probably already sorted. Uh, yeah. Because the double stack here stops anyone blitzing through, because that was the problem. He threw a 1D or went and fetched someone, made that 2D, followed, and then went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 plus me. I scatter the ball, I lose. That adds just the level of extra protection that I needed. Oh, you're talking about the... the, the I've played in two Chalice Finals. Yeah, the, the, the first Chalice Final I was probably... Probably a little bit unlucky in, I think. 
Um, Donkey Dragon says the video covering the most important changes from Blood Bowl 2 to 3 would be actually nice. Not sure if one exists. Uh, Knorr did one actually. Uh, and because he he'd done a he'd done one and I thought it was a good good video, I didn't copy it. I wasn't sure if I could add loads more to it. Uh, is it okay to block uphill when you have block dodge on the blocker? <laughs> there is no try. There is do or do not. Hello, Fizz. Um, the um, dodge on your player doesn't make any difference. Only the Sith do deal in absolutes. Absolute terror, absolute zero. <laughs> oh shit. We're in trouble. Yeah, I think we're actually in trouble here. It's currently two plus two plus. Okay. Because I can't blitz here, so I've got to do a block to stand here to throw the two dice to then go one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's two plus no dodge, two plus no dodge. Yep, that's the play. Well, if you're going to do something stupid like that, there's not a lot I can do. Never mind. And that'll be game. That's just game. Oh well, never mind. I did contemplate making the 4 plus 2 plus. Possibly on, a, uh, on balance, that was the right play. Oh, I can't set the camera back again now. Oh, stop it. I can just be annoyed about how I'm not going to win. It, well, my first action was a one, right? I, I can't do anything if my first action's a one. Still a draw. I, I think so, Shamba. Prob probably a sure, yeah. Probably. Blitz the player in front of me. Six, seven. That's one.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you make a go for it. Okay. Okay. Jump over the dude. So we're now stood here. Right, now let's do some square counting for players. So they're annoying. I think it's two go for it. I think it is just two go for it and go, go on then. Get me. Not bad. <sighs> Who died? Cold Surge. Not a hot look, my friend. But I think what that does do is it probably locks up the not losing. Never mind. So, let's spend a bit of time overall strategizing. What the hell did we do in this game, apart from the bad dice rolls? The actual strategy of this half, or this game, was in the first half, do one of two different things. Either create these conditions where I can try and turn them over, or make them score quickly. I wasn't really bothered about trying to play an eight-turn uh, drive and defense and, and just like get in the way. I didn't I didn't play for that. I didn't try and do that. Um so that's why we didn't go in that direction. So he's made his first go for it. He now needs two more go for it and then a 55%. Okay, we're two plus away from from something fun. We are a two plus away from something fun. One. If it has dodge, it levels. If it had scored, it levels. Oh well. Right. Did one of the blitzes level? No. So we didn't get any levels that time. Uh, the witch is one away and the bl li lineman is two away. Um, we only scored one touchdown so we're having like 70k in the bank I think. Let's go and have a look. Yep, we have exactly 70k in the bank. Uh, I do want to save up and buy a uh, an extra reroll, so I'm not going to replace the, the lineman. In fact, we're now going to do reroll, and then I'm going to do fourth blitzer. So that opens the slot for a blitzer, uh, which is fine. No randoming, as I've got specific plans for all of these players. So if you're enjoying the content, like, subscribe, and don't roll ones. They break your heart. 